Hi, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. Let's network. In closing, I want to say, hi, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine show with the greatest cameraman around, Sonny Hirsch, and your host of all hosts, Avi Myers. Thank you, Marty. Avi Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Dial us up on the World Wide Web at www.ntnm.org. All of our shows are available on YouTube. We're real big on community policing. Uh, that's Check out Sonny Hirsch's website at caps24.org. If you are a live in West Rogers Park, Rogers Park, or a little bit of Edgewater, uh, the North End, um, you know, you can find all, all the meetings there. Otherwise, call 311 throughout the city to find out when your community policing meeting will be taking place. It is a pleasure to have um, my next guest, who is the founder of the Small Business Advocacy Council and is participating in like a huge business... Huge seminar, free to the public, uh, that's taking place in, a, in just about a dozen days. It's on August 25th, and I'm going to let him tell you about it, Elliot Richardson. Elliot, how you doing? How you doing, Avi? Thanks for having me. Real good, thanks. And we want to thank your um, intern, Arthur, his name is? Arthur is right back there. Yeah, we yes. always like to give credit to everybody who helps uh, participate. He's a good-looking guy. <laughs> okay. Girls, please note. Yes. Anyhow, um, so tell me about this uh, business expo. This is, sounds like a real big undertaking. Yeah, it is, actually. We're very excited about it. Well, the SBAC, the Small Business Advocacy Council, is going to be teaming up with Jewish B2B, uh, Shalom Klein, and we're in Skogie going to be putting on a very, very large full-day business expo uh, that's going to feature thousands, we believe, thousands of folks in the small and mid-market business community, lots of vendors, uh, really give up people an opportunity to showcase their business, learn um, about how they can improve the environment um, for their businesses, and uh, talk to some political folks, and uh, really it should be a day of advocacy, and that's what we're looking for. No, it sounds exciting, and uh, having being a small businessman, and when I say small businessman, some people define small businesses as people with 200 employees and up. Right. I mean, I'm talking about like it's me and I sometimes I have a part-timer. Right. <laughs> so, uh, you know, when people talk about, to me, a, a business with 200 people is huge. But well, uh, it's compared to a large corporation. I mean, large corporations eat businesses like that for lunch. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you know, small business is defined in many different places in many different ways. Um, what we found is in the SBAC, uh, there's businesses that have 100 employees, 150 employees, two employees, and they're all going through the same issues. I mean, health care, um, lending, all the things that are impacting um, folks who I would consider mid-market businesses are having that same profound effect on small businesses. So what we're trying to do is sort of form a consortium, uh, advocate on behalf of all these folks, and uh, improve the economic conditions. No, I think that's important in the fact is health care, you know, people don't realize it. When I had, when I really had employees and I was handling their health care, um, you know, it was cheaper in those days, but still in all, one girl got asthma. Yeah. And all of a sudden, my rates, you know, soar $300 a month for her. And, you know, $300 a month, $3,600 a year, that's real money. And it's a much higher stake right now. That's just an average policy. Yeah, you're, you're, even less than some. You're 100 percent right, and, and people are fed up. I mean, they really are. Uh, folks in our group are fed up, and that's probably why we have 40 businesses joining the SBAC a month. Um, what we're doing is we have a. And by the way, if I'm not mistaken, last year you had about zero when you started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had zero. We've got about 300 now, um, and we've got a lot of people that are very fired up about health insurance. Um, folks who are, in fact, I have a call after this where we'll be talking about health care. 
um, we sort of feel we have to take matters into our own hands. So we, you know, as a group, we've, we're attempting to form a health insurance pool. And there's a lot of obstacles to that. There's legislative obstacles. Uh, the insurance companies certainly are not excited about it. But there is something else we're doing, and we're creating a health insurance exchange on our website. So we have a lot of brokers in the SBAC. And what we're saying to these brokers is they all talk to me and, and say we've got great products for your members. You know, folks like in PEOs, like in Ministaff, in, in Sperity now, uh, they say we can do wonderful things for your members. So what we're going to do is create a website that's transparent and tell everybody, okay, give us your best shot. Mm. You know, let's create a real place where we can compare prices and shop and not just be, you know, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Humana. There's a lot more options out there than that. So that's one of the things we're doing to try to break through this health insurance uh, you know, conundrum where people's rates go up every single year. Yeah, and, and not just go up, but go up crazy high. Right, and while the politicians and political folks fight about health insurance uh, and there's challenges in the courts and, you know, the regular person, uh, the small business owner, the mid-market business owner is having to decide between laying off employees or obtaining insurance. And th that's, that's not a fair choice. That's not a choice that a business owner should have to make. And I want to say there's other groups with us that are looking at really taking this insurance fight um, to the public. And that's other chambers of commerce, other groups, uh, and, and we're excited about that. No, I think that's great. And uh, it, it is so important. I mean, I, I know how much damage it did to me and, you know, in a much smaller way than a lot of these other companies. If I had, you know, like, um, boy, when I had the, the newspaper running full blast, I had six full-timers and a dozen part-timers. Um, you know what? I can't imagine what my I can imagine what my health insurance bill would be. It would be it would it, it would be a lot. It would it would yeah. be an awful lot. Um, so that's one of the things that we're working on, and that's something that you know, bringing it back to the Biz Expo that yeah. we're doing with Jewish B two B, getting a large group of folks together like that, two thousand, a thousand five hundred people in the small and mid-market business space, um, talking with political folks, telling them what we're looking for, and finding a way to band together. That's crucial. Right, now that's August 25th? That's August 25th, yeah. And where's it at? It's going to be at the Holiday Inn in Skokie. Um, I don't know the exact address. I do, as a matter of fact. If you, uh, it's right by, as a matter of fact, it's right near Skokie Yeshiva, for those of you who have been there. But uh, it's basically on Tui. It's just west of the expressway, and it's on the north side of the street, right before Carpenter. I grew up, yeah, I grew up right in that area. So <laughs> It's I, about, it's approximately like 5,400, something like that. Yeah, yeah, and we're expecting a great turnout. Yeah, no, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm definitely going to be there myself. And it's an all-day thing. It is. It, it's an all-day thing. And, again, there's going to be vendor tables. There's going to be pe people walking around talking about uh, their business. Uh, we're going to have breakout sessions with experts who will be talking about, you know, for job seekers, uh, how to put together a resume, um, some of the basics, some of the fundamentals. And for business owners, what are the options that are out there uh, to bring down your costs? That's one of the things that the SBAC prides itself in is we have multiple discount programs where business owners can really get in and bring down their costs and get things a lot less expensively by pulling together. There's power in critical mass, and, right. and that's what we understand, and I think that's what Jewish B2B understands as well. Yeah, not to mention the fact that if you're looking for a job, and this is a free thing, there's going to be an awful lot of employers there. There, there, there are going to be a lot of employers. And my, some of them, if I'm not mistaken, are actually looking for people. My law firm is going to be there, and my law firm is consistently looking for people. And there's going to be other um, folks in the service industries that are consistently looking for uh, for folks looking for employment. So, yeah, I, I really think it's going to be a good opportunity. I, I would not tell people to come out if I felt it was going to be a waste of time, um, especially people who are trying to run their businesses. We think it's going to be a very good use of time. Let, let me ask you this. What, just as an example, what, what kind of, I mean, okay, I know I can't necessarily go get my law degree in the next two weeks and get a job with you guys. Right. Although I was accepted to law school a long time ago, just didn't, didn't want to go. Well, you probably made a wise move. Um, well, we'll talk off beer, but it was a wise move. Right. Trust me on that. Maybe not for uh, money, but you know what? I, I I was a reporter covering criminal court building at the time, and I got to see what what really happened in court, and not the glorified TV version I uh, thought. Well, you know, I, I'm an attorney, <laughs> so that's that's why I can say that, and I have had the pleasure of trying, uh, you know, some federal cases and case, and it's very exciting. So I should, and I, I, you know, obviously that was a joke, but. Um, 
but I think a question was what sort of people are we looking for? What sort yeah. of folks are people in the... Uh, and what sort of jobs, for instance, too? I mean, do you probably have jobs other than just lawyers. Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, we've got jobs. We have clerical jobs. Um, we've got litigation support jobs. And there's a whole market out there that, you know, it's one thing to just send your resumes out blindly. And it's another thing to actually get in and and see what's out there. And I'll give you another example. We have a law clerk who now has a full-time job at my firm. And she started out as an intern. Um, and what I said to her is I said, go there. Uh, come every day, sit, you know, sit at your desk and make yourself indispensable and pretty soon people will start coming and giving you work and that is exactly what happened. And you know, we <laughs> offered a full-time job uh, about three days ago. So that's really what you can do uh, in terms of getting your foot in the door and getting a job. Yeah, people don't realize, no, it's fine it's over there. Oh, okay. People don't realize the importance of getting their foot in the door. I was talking to somebody who um, you know, he had a very high political job, yeah. um, switched streams because the person didn't like the candidate that they were, not the candidate, the uh, elected official they were working for, and were offered a job by somebody else, but not at, at half the previous salary. And they didn't want to take it. And finally, after six months and, and no employment, right. they took the job. And, and sure enough, just like what you said, the person was a very high quality person and is working their way up the scale. Yeah, I mean, you got to get your foot in the door. And, and I think what folks really, what's important to understand right now is the job market is tight. And you've got a lot of people who have been working at companies for 15, 20 years who are now out in the force again. And you have a lot of people coming on for the first time. Um, my suggestion is get your foot in the door. Go out there. Um, meet as many people as you possibly can because there are jobs out there but it's not going to be easy and they're not going to come to your uh, you know they're just not going to come to your doorstep um, groups like the SBAC Jewish B2B our mission is really to try to find people and get them employment um, get businesses working together um, just create a community where people are helping one another and looking out for one another yeah and I think it's great you guys are working together one, one thing I want to say is you yeah. know even in my business in journalism there were basically two ways that we were taught you get your foot in the door. One is by working in small towns, which I was actually the voice of the Morris Redskins and the Coal City Callers. All right. In, in big time Morris, Illinois, and uh, Coal City. I used to drive through that all the time. Yeah, <laughs> Morris. Yeah, well, Morris was the big time. I mean, we, we had the movie theater. I mean, people used to come from uh, different cities to us. Okay. And we broadcast from the highest top floor of the highest building in town. Okay. The second floor of the Farm Bureau building. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but but basically that was one way. And the other way was, and, and Princess Bob Surratt took this particular step, who was a graduate of Columbia where I, where I went. Um, he became a page boy at NBC, which basically means running errands. Some people became copy boys for newspapers, which means, hey, take this piece of paper and, and run it over there. Yep. But you know what? You, you, you learn, you absorb, you watch. Maybe you're not making very much money. Maybe you, if you feel it's beneath your dignity, you should adjust your attitude. Well, you know, my <laughs> first legal job, and yeah, it was, you know, 11 or 12 years ago, but I made $27,000. Um, but I got great experience and, you know, understanding that people have all sorts of financial concerns. Um, I think I think we, we agree with each other, Avi, that getting your foot in the door is absolutely vital. And the traditional ways of doing things, which are send out blind resumes, um, you know, those sorts of, they're just not landing people jobs right now. Right, and one of, one of the things too is when people see these quality jobs offered at Monster or something like that. Yeah. I mean, everybody in the world can go to that website. They're probably right. getting 10,000 resumes. Absolutely. So you're competing with it at impossible odds to get what sounds like a dream job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I think that there are groups that are looking to match employers and employees. Um, there's online sort of dating services for employees and employers, which are not bad places to go uh, to sort of get your foot in the door. And I think that that's where things are, uh, that's where things are headed in the future. No, and I think it's a really good thing. So you're gonna you're gonna be there all day. That's gonna be August 25th. August 25th. Yes. Do you know the hours? Uh, I believe we're starting at 10, but Sh Shalom will be here later, and he probably knows better than me. Yeah, he'll be our next guest on yeah. the show. I think I, I believe it starts at 10, and it might go until six o'clock or so. We're gonna have a VIP reception afterwards, where we're gonna have some people in Congress who are gonna be there, some other high-level politicians who are gonna be there, and that's a, a really good opportunity for people to tell them what's on their mind. Um, and how difficult things are and that they'd like to see real solutions right now. Um, you know, unfortunately we feel that that's lacking a bit and, and the only way that, that we're going to have our voices heard and by we, 
I mean regular folks who are working hard, who are you know who own businesses that are working at mid market businesses, is to sort of come together and demand it. Um, and that's from from my perspective, that's a very important part of what we're doing and what this event's going to be on the 25th. Now, I think that's really important, and I, I want you to give us all the information about the small business. Let's remember also, besides for the expo on August 25th at the Holiday in Skokie, um, you know what? Check out the Small Business Advocacy Council, which is a nonprofit group, and if they'd like to do that. Uh, yeah, you would go to our website, and that is um, sbacil.org. Uh, again, we have all sorts of programs to save money. Um, we have a breakfast or a cocktail hour networking every single day. I've got two today. I had one. Wow. I've got, uh, you know, we'll have 20 people at the Mid-America Club tonight. And uh, all different sorts of educational forums and events. So uh, check us out. And if you have any questions, you know, you can feel free to call me or Blanca Campos. Great. Thank you so much, Elliot Richardson, Abby, Small Business Advocacy Council. Thank you. Thank you so much.